Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is June the 17th, 2022. We are going to talk about Phantom today on this particular video. And even though the price crashed, even though the price in Phantom went down from my last video, I still see that the market wants to go up. I'm going to show you all today why I think price in Phantom is still a buy and is still is going to increase in price from where the market is right now. So before I get started into all of that, welcome everyone to my channel. This is HFN, also known as HFN News. I do price predictions without the confusion. I come through and I show everyone who views my content that you don't have to be a technical wizard or analyst just to figure out where price is going to go. You just need to figure out where we've been to try to understand where we're trying to go. And you do that by looking at the price and the volume. That's it. You don't need nothing else to try to figure out where the market is headed. So I wanted to show each and every one of you how you can do this for yourself. All you had to do is sit back, listen to what I'm saying, look at the price chart, and you'll begin to see how the market really works. So if you guys want to join me, go ahead and hit that like button. Share the video and also subscribe here to my channel. Tap that bell notification as well because I definitely want to make sure that each and every one of you be one of the first ones to see where I think price is about to go. All right. So now let me, first of all, I come through and I'm be fully transparent. I want to show you my price predictions that I get right. And I also want to show you the ones that I get wrong because we can still learn from the price predictions that I don't get correct. I didn't get this last one correct. I was wrong. The market in Phantom, instead of it going up, like I predicted, it went down instead. So let's use this as a learning opportunity so we can become more proficient at understanding when do we need to let plays go when do we need to let our forecast go when we understand that it's not going in our favor the moment that i did my price prediction right here in phantom was on june the 1st the video is still available you guys can listen to what i was talking about then because you guys can see what happened now price went down so the moment that you do a price prediction, you always want to come back in every once in a while to see how price is acting against your original intentions. If your intention was for price to go up and you begin to see price trending down, you need to start questioning what's going on in the market. What I thought then the market is telling me something different, right? So after I did my video right here on June the 1st, right, you guys can see that price in phantom was on a decline, right? But that's cool because I had my ultimate TP, my ultimate support area to allow this play to continue was around 30 cents, okay? So even though we were seeing the price trend lower in Phantom after I did my price prediction, we need to be a little bit more attentive to what's going on. Look at this particular price bar right here on June the 6th. So we saw from out the gate price and Phantom go down the 2nd, the 3rd, 4th, the 5th of June, and then we got this day, June the 6th, to where the price in Phantom was able to go up, but we closed off of the highs. What does that mean? It means that more sellers came into the market to push the price down. So this was an indication to say, hey, you might want to think about cutting your position because the market is not looking as strong as what you thought it was on June the 1st. This is what this day represents. And then you come back and you look at the 7th and then you look at the 8th and then you look at the 9th. See, the price is still trending down. The market is letting you know you need to cut this play. I'm not taking the price higher, even though I know you want to see price go exceedingly higher. Even though I know you want to see the price go up, it's not going to do it. The market is giving you the information. It's giving you your answers. But just so many times you want to hope. You want to think the next day is going to be better. The next day, the market is going to go up. That's not the case. The answers are being displayed on the chart every day. And the moment that we saw price in Phantom break our support area 30 cents, that's when we should have let it go. Right here. No lower than the close of June the 11th. Now, that's 24.29%. If you were to get on the close of June the 11th, that's 30. Hey, it happens. That's how we understand when we need to cut the plays, though, because we minimize the losses and we let the winners run. Would you rather have 30 percent or 38? Right, because you live on to play another day when you know when you need to get out a play. Right. So let me go ahead and cut that out. Now, 
I was looking for price to go up in Phantom then, and that really hasn't changed. I still see the market in Phantom trying to go up in price. It's trying to go up. Ever since the market moved down on June the 12th, the 13th, the, I'm sorry, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, and the 17th, I'm still seeing emphasis that this market price in Phantom is trying to go up. I still see that. So this price prediction, I am going to play the strength into the market again. Look at all the volume that came into the market on the 12th, the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th. Like, and the market's not moving. If this was all selling going on on those particular days, do you not think that price would have collapsed? Do you not think that price would have went down further? But for some reason, this market in Phantom is not going down. Why? There's only two transactions that we can ever get in these markets. It's either buying or selling. And if price is not going down, then obviously somebody doesn't want it to go down. They're buying it. And when you see this type of price action, you need to come in and participate right alongside with them. Okay? So now, let's not be stupid. Let's not be crazy. Let's not be ignorant. We understand that we're in a massive downtrend, though. So if we're going to play some strength into the market, we need, we need to know when we need to exit out. We don't want to be greedy because right here is where sellers are at. OK, we need to expect that we need to try to predict where we need to let the market go. We're almost there now. Matter of fact. So if I'm going to predict some upward movement in Phantom, guess what? We need to be ready to let it go the moment that it hits our area of TP, which means take profit. OK, so my first area is going to be right there around 27 and a half. 30 cents is going to be my next one. Those are my two price targets. I'm not going to be massively greedy and come out and do this video saying that crow. I mean, that phantom is going to come through and go all the way up to a dollar. Right. No, I'm not going to do that. That's not how I play. I try to be realistic in how prices move. So I'm going to look for the market and phantom to go up. So let me go ahead and put that on the chart. And this is going to be contingent, just like I did on my last video. It's going to be contingent on the price and phantom staying above 20 cents. OK, that's it. 20 cents. Now. That first price target is right there where I extended that horizontal line to 27 cents. That gives us 11 and a quarter percent run up, though, from where the price is right now. So 11 percent is decent. Like that's a very good. Small bag of profitability right there. Then the next one is going to be around 30. And that's another what 23 percent market move higher. That's very doable especially in the cryptocurrency space that we've seen a lot of these cryptocurrency get battered over the last couple of days. OK, so now let me bring this down here because this is where the support area lies in Phantom. You guys can see right here around May of last year. This is where the basis was. This is where support was created in Phantom and the market came down there here on the 13th of June. So that's it. I'm done. So let me go ahead and extend this out too, because I really think that this may be the top portion of this consolidation of trading range that Phantom is currently on. So we might hit up there around 30. More strength continues to come into the market, hit 40 cents, maybe even 45, and then begin to come back down. But first, we got to take out the errors that I identified here on this video. So I'm done. It's your turn. Go ahead and let me know where do y'all think the price in Phantoms is about to go next? Because if we break 30 cents to the upside on strength, then we need to be prepared to see the market go up there to around 33, 34. And I'm going to hold that there too because I, I like that. All right, so go ahead and let me know. What are your thoughts? Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.